Hello everyone, my name is Donna Wilder Hart and I am here with a reading for the collective with the deck of sexual magic. As you can see, this deck does not um, list reversals, so I'm not going to read reversals today. We have a situation in which some of you are either in separation with a lover or you have a lover who's not really connecting with you. You could live under the same household and have someone who is sort of almost not speaking with you. And I think some of you will have that as, as a case. What we have here is the Hermit card. That is Virgo energy. And we can see that this person is very worried about what you might be up to and worry they should, right? Okay. We have somebody who feels like an emperor, somebody who feels as though they deserve to be the boss. They deserve to be the leader. This person has, if you look really closely, looks very miserable. They look like they have a case of blue balls in the worst sense of the word. I'm very comfortable with all of this. Everyone, please know that. <laughs> you can probably tell that from all of our readings so far, right? If you've been with the channel for a while. Look at what's going on here. There's a tower card. We have a crisis in this relationship. The crisis is so big that your person is worried that you could possibly cheat. That is their worst fear. And I think for the very first time in your relationship, if this is not a relationship in which cheating has been a part of in the past, your person feels as though they have stepped over a line in a way that is causing a crisis so big that it could cause the breakup of the relationship. And again, some of you are in separation. When we look at the card of how they feel, they are missing you. Again, you can be under the same roof and feel a longing and you can feel terribly lonely. For most though, I do think that this is a card of separation, that you're not living together. But it'll resonate, however it resonates, take it that way. This is a Six of Cups. This person wants to reunite with you. Six of Cups, soulmate of the Minor Arcana. Okay. They feel as though they owe you an apology. They feel as though they need to come in on bended knee and give you a bouquet of flowers or some token of recognition that they want you back, that they feel badly perhaps with something that they've done. And you can see that she is looking She's looking down at the bouquet and then she's stroking her chin like, well, should I or shouldn't I? This person cannot stop thinking of the way you kiss them. Deep, sensuous kisses. It turns them on like crazy. This is enough to send them over the edge right here without ever having you naked. You really do this to them. When they look at you, when they look at your smile, when they look at your mouth, they uh, see you as eminently kissable. The lover's card, they have to make a choice. They need to make a choice about how they're gonna handle this relationship because clearly they have broken your sense of trust, your sense of, you know, you don't know where you stand with them because of their behavior, but we're gonna look at the issues here. So they do think that, they do believe that you're a lover. If they did not see you as a soulmate in the past, they certainly do now. This person in the past has been very much about dominating you. It's their way or the highway, which is not terribly unusual with an emperor card. You know, they're used to being the authority. They're accustomed to people sort of bow, bowing down to them. They find you incredibly sexy they find, if you look at her face, she looks as though she's enjoying the domination. She has a look of passion. And so when we look at the way they see you as a kisser, you know, they see you as their lover, this is a card that's very, very powerful because it also looks as though other people are aware of a dynamic in your relationship. And this person asserts this, they're very bold about it. They definitely, especially in public, want to feel as though they are the dominant partner. The downside of this card, and this is where they've gotten in trouble with you, is that it's harsh, it can be very cruel, it leaves you not really able 
to do much because this is a runs with scissors card. It's not wise to do this emotionally. If you want to play by the rules, you know, with safe words and everything else, you know, go for it, you know, as, as is everyone's choice and right to do so. But if this, this power dynamic is an emotional dynamic, that's where I see a problem because this person will almost do anything to maintain power. But now, luckily, we have the tower card, the epiphany, the shock. Yeah, this, you know, they see you now as a person who is taking your power back and you have switched gears on them. You have allowed them to see the truth of the matter in. Yes, you may enjoy being submissive in some aspects of the relationship, but you are not giving up your power and there's a huge difference. There is a huge difference. So one thing does not translate to the next. One room in the house does not transfer to the other. So the kitchen is not the boudoir and the boudoir is not the kitchen. So, or dinner with friends. <laughs> This person cannot stop thinking about how you give them oral pleasure. They cannot, again, they see you as the most amazing kisser in the world. There is something about your mouth that makes him crazy. It can be your smile, it can be anything about your lips. You might have tiny lips, you might have big lips. How whatever it is, this person yearns for this. They know that they need to get lucky. <laughs> they want to get lucky with you. They know that for you to accept their apology, they're going to have to come in and they're going to have to give you something more, much more gracious than what they've been giving you. And here we have the outcome card. Came in as the romantic knight of cups. Coming in, looking at how ravishing you are, being very appreciative and using the Wheel of Fortune for timing. So that is your sexy Saturday reading for the collective. Take care, everybody. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye.